his door Tell. 
goodbye is too good of a word, babe. So I'll just say fairly well. Now I ain't saying you treated me unkind. You could have done better all, but I don't mind. We just wasted my precious time. Don't think twice, it's all right. Yeah, you just wasted my precious time. Don't think twice, it's all right. Studios. Today we're joined by the trailer hippies, Sylvia and Tommy. Uh, how you guys doing? We're doing we're all doing right. Good. Well, thanks for coming by. And you're out of Chatsworth, Georgia, correct? That's right. And you guys play quite frequently in that area, right? Yeah. Yeah, in surrounding areas. Yeah. All right. Uh, what are some of your favorite places to play in that area? We love the city of Ella J, Georgia. Oh, yeah? And uh, we play in Blue Ridge and uh, Jasper. We play in North Carolina. In Dahlonega, Georgia. They're all good. We love them all because it's, it's all just mountainous areas. It's uh, wineries, mostly, and breweries. <laughs> wineries and breweries, yeah. yeah and, uh, <laughs> it's listening crowds, and it's, it's really nice. Awesome. And uh, you guys actually met at an open mic, correct? Yes. All right. Yeah. And uh, how long ago was that? 
Well, that was about nine or eight, nine years ago. Yeah. About In Chattanooga, the Tremont Tavern. Okay. A friend of mine, Michael McDade, has been doing open mic there for many years. And he's still doing it there. Okay. So if, uh, people in Chattanooga go to the Tremont Tavern. Say hi to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> right on. And so you guys just heard each other playing, thought I, I, I can get down with this, I could write something, I can harmonize with this. Yeah, that, well that was my first thought. Uh, you know, when I saw Tommy, uh, first time I went to Tremont, he actually, I, I, had to, I was on the list to follow him and um, I heard him uh, sing and listen to his songs and I thought, wow, you know, he's kind of like me. And I think I said it out loud even. I said, man, I could harmonize with him. And uh, so about eight years later, yeah. when uh, <laughs> he hit me up on Facebook, because I, uh, um, I was hosting open mic at a bar in Okoy called Dumpy's. Um, and so, yeah, he came down there and asked me if I was ever think, considered to sing with him, you know, harmonize with him, so. Well, so uh, what took eight years? I mean, you, you knew it was going to work. But it, it just... <laughs> well, we were married to other people. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes I don't get so, in the way. You know, <laughs> trying, so, I know. trying to pursue that artistic side, you know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, right. And so uh, I just, well, I guess we became friends on Facebook. We were friends on know. Facebook, but really but We didn't. never communicated. No, not and, really. And, and, mm -hmm. uh, no. After a long time, I saw where she was, I wasn't married anymore, and she wasn't, and so I went to her open mic. Stars mind. just aligned. There you huh? go. Right on. Yeah. Was the first time you guys played together on stage, or did you just meet up somewhere and start playing together? Uh, it was probably on stage at Dumpy's. Well, uh, no. The first time we ever, uh, well, sang together uh, out in public, yeah, would have mm -hmm. been at Dumpy's, I guess. Yeah, yeah. in Okoy. River, um, river crowd down there. A lot of white water rafting. Yes. Okay. So you guys have been writing together for about a year or so right now? couple years we've been writing yeah, almost three. together yeah oh wow and you guys have uh, a, t a solo album out each and mm -hmm. then one album trailer hippies correct right. right all right and you play all the songs from both of those together yeah we right? do we mix mm -hmm. it all up yep we as well as a few like interspersed covers because you like do. to play mostly originals right we do a lot of originals and we do do quite a few covers too we cover uh artists like john prine mm-hmm uh, uh, I cover a lot of Gillian Welsh. Uh, do you play in spite of ourselves? You know, we're working on oh, it. Oh, I do, okay. Everybody <laughs> asks that. Yeah. We, you know, we love it. we got to be able to get through it without laughing. Okay. Oh. No. <laughs> in the middle of it, you know. No, yeah. But we get asked that a lot, and that is on the list of things. We have worked and Jillian, on it a little okay. bit. Yeah. And I do. I cover Gillian and, uh, a, a lot, and we, we cover different people. Johnny Cash. James Taylor. Merle Haggard. John Denver. <laughs> we do a lot of old stuff, uh, too. Patsy Klein. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about one of your songs, uh, Trouble. Damn Trouble. Damn Trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about the uh, sound of that, how it's got kind of a show feel. Got it that does. dark vaudevillian, mm -hmm. a little bit of the comic dark sense of humor. Yeah. Um, w where did that song come from? What was the writing behind that? Uh, I just... Um, I started out just, you know, with a on the guitar with the with a melody, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, you know, and and then um, I don't know. The, honestly, for me, a lot of times I don't know where they come from. It just happens. It's like I, I smell trouble in the air, you know, mm -hmm. and there I go. And um, so anyway, I don't know. There's a message in there, you know, about uh, trouble in the world, and <laughs> well, um, kind of mixed with some comedy, and yeah, yeah, so. Uh, so when you guys write, you like to you know, like to set a mood, or does it just kind of come spur to the moment? Anything like that? Usually, I guess any co-writes we have, it's come from a melody that I've been playing. Usually, I think, and uh, and the melody itself sets a mood, you know. So then it just kind of yeah. Grows. And I always say to him, so what does that make you think about? Like, what does it feel like? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotta know the mood. You gotta know the tone that you're going yeah. with. Yeah. yeah. Um, and being both like strong songwriters on your own respect, and like when you got together, was it kind of an adjustment period when you started writing together? It was. Yeah. It was. It was, you know, it took a while. Um, it took a while for me to kind of like nudge at him and go, hey, you know, uh, we got this melody. It sounds great. And let's, let's try to write something to it. And uh, I had to, you know, 
nudge him along a little bit. Because it's one thing to have like your own. It is. You don't want to step on somebody. Yeah, and then you want it to be a collaborative, so everybody's kind of got that blending of both sounds. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you guys have uh, the one album out right now for Trailer Trailer Hippies for Life. Mm -hmm. Yes. How'd you settle on the name Trailer Hippies? We we discussed that a little bit, but. well, us being having the general appearance of hippies, <laughs> and we uh, lived uh, three tenths of a mile off the main road there in Murray County, and it's uh, all woods around us, and people would see those hippies disappear down that long dirt driveway. <laughs> and, uh, so she says, "Where are them trailer hippies going?" But she <laughs> she coined the name Sylvia did for the band. For well, us. we were we were thinking of different names, you know, and and everything I would suggest, he'd be like, "No, you know." I was like, "What well, Blue Revelry or something?" I don't know, Blue Review or Blue Windows. I don't know what it was, but he would be like, "No, no, 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 no," and um, so we were going down the road one day and. It popped into my head, and I said, I know if I say this, as soon as the words come out of my mouth, Trailer Hippies, he's going to be like, that's it. He's going to jump on it. Well, because the name's got to fit the attitude and everything. <laughs> so so yeah. I, I said, okay, I think I got the name. He goes, okay, what is it? And I said, Trailer Hippies. And he said, yep, that's it. That's, All right. That's it. That's it. Right so. on. Um, so what do you guys got planned for the future? Are you working on any new material? Uh, we are working on new material, and uh, we're thinking uh, about putting together another CD uh, sometime in the not too far future. Okay. Um, yeah, just doing a lot of gigs. We want to play a lot of music. Want to play a lot of music. Any uh, aspiration to bring in other band members, or you just want to keep it a duo? Uh, possibly. If uh, we have thought about bringing, we have we know quite a few very good musicians, and uh, I'd say in that area, yeah. Yeah, there are quite a few, and. Uh, so yeah, we are considering that. That just there's a lot more to do when you have a band because if it's just a husband and wife team, it's so easy to pick up and go, mm-hmm. and be there on time together, and have all your stuff. You know, if you have four or five people, there's just more to it. And I'm all about simplicity generally in life. Yeah, right. Okay. And, uh, simple. Or, the more simple, the better. Yeah, doing a band would be cool to have a. a a band ready to go occasionally. Yeah. For, you know, yeah, bigger venues, like bigger shows, that. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know, that would be uh, fun and to do, but not all the time. Most yeah. Most of the time it's just going to be, I think, like Well, you it said, fits the style. Like, from what I've heard of you guys, I mean, a, a duo, yeah. a duo can do a lot. You can be real dynamic as a duo, and you guys have mm-hmm. a real unique sound. Um, and that sound just kind of came around organically, working together and yeah, writing together? It yeah. just did. Was it, just... it was. It was very natural. Like everything about uh, our relationship really uh, came about very naturally, very comfortably, and um, pretty just easy. Like That's a blessing. That's be. a real blessing. Yeah. 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 All right. And where can people find your music? Where can people get a hold of you if they want to book you or bring you out for a show, anything like that? Well, we are on Facebook okay. um, at Trailer Hippies, and we have trailerhippies.com is our website, and we are on Instagram also. So those are Spotify, iTunes. We are. We all have those. Our, all of our um, our CD is available on iTunes, uh, <clears throat> Spotify, all the digital platforms, uh, CD Baby. So yeah, we all the all over the world. I guess all the different digital platforms. It's available. Yes. Fantastic. All right, well, guys, thanks so much for stopping by today, playing a few for us, and go look them up, TrailerHippies.com, Trailer Hippies on Facebook, get the new album, Trailer Hippies for Life. Uh, Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and don't miss another promotion live session. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank Thank you. you. Peace. Thank you.